Thursday of the 28th week in ordinary time reflection the power of blood and the curse of blood the word says today woe to you for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed i mean the curse of the blood they have shed the blood of the men of god who came to spread the word why the word was challenging it never pleased them challenged them so they broke the crush the challenger they thought the challenge would be end so you are witnesses and you consent to the deeds of your fathers for they killed them and you build their tombs so think about it my dear friends why they kill the prophet because they challenge them now they build the prophet's tomb they show you become part of it what about you what about me we 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 also join their work by rejecting the word prophet was rejected because of the word we directly reject the word because that word is double edged sword and it tests our thoughts challenges our ways so then we kill the word we we disobey the word we don't listen to the word we 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 become part of the cursed generation therefore also therefore also the wisdom of god said i will send the prophets and apostles some of whom they will kill and persecute so that the blood of the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation the shed blood that they shed is a curse it's going to be curse in their life so that's the plight of their generation my dear friends from the blood of abel to the blood of zechariah is the last prophet that they killed in sense in that sense but then of course they killed john the baptist now they try to kill the lord the word itself so the blood of abel now cain killed abel and the lord asks where is your brother and abel asks am i the keeper of my brother and then he said what did you do the blood of your brother is is shouting for justice from the ground from the earth but then my dear friends that blood shout from the ground for justice jesus' blood which was shed shout for salvation it's craving for salvation that is the power of blood yes i'll tell you i will be required it will be required of this generation woe to the lawyers for you have taken away the key of knowledge you did not enter yourself and you hindered those who were entering now this blood of jesus has power my dear friends blood of jesus now that blood above above abel's blood that blood shout for salvation that has that power that sal- that blood has power to save that's exactly a pharisee the lord is saying woe to you prophet pharisees and that as the another pharisee called Saul became Paul and now the one who wrote the first reading that to Ephesians of course he's a it's a capsule letter the Paul Paul is writing from the prison to Ephesians and that the one who shed helped to shed the blood of the saints and now is witnessing the power of the salvific blood of Jesus that's it that's how the letter starts paul an apostle of christ jesus by the will of god to the saints who are in ephesus a persecuted community it is a persecuted community painful community are faithful in christ jesus grace to you and peace from god our father and the lord jesus christ blessed be the be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us in Christ <coughs> with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even he has he 
chose us in him before the foundation of the world now it's a calling it's a calling by the lord before the foundation of the lord world i mean before everything is designed he has called you call you for what even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him how can we sin us be holy and blameless it's only because of the blood of jesus that blood was shed that blood was shed because of our salvation that blood blood has power but those who shed that blood those who plotted those who sentenced him to death they had just been cursed the moment they the moment they realize and accept repent that very same blood they shed is going to be their salvation that is the that is a amazing alarming message today my dear friends the very blood shed by paul saul that time of heresy of course jesus said why do you persecute me that blood of the innocent saints became the seeds of the seeds of the christianity it was power it was power and so lord has called before the foundation of the world to be pure we should be holy and blameless before him but then the world we become in ho- not holy and then we become blame the blame will fall off on us but then we are called to be blameless and holy love holy blameless before him in love he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through jesus christ according to the purpose of his will now it's a adoption by the precious blood of jesus normally sons and daughters would have the same genes same bloodline of the father so now jesus is adopting us because we were exiled in sin so he has adopted us call us to that connection to the praise of his glorious grace which with which he has blessed us in the beloved the word says in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight making known to us the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him things in heaven and things on earth that's exactly what happened with the coming of the lord by paying the ransom pay them paying the price for us by shedding his blood now doing all this the very graceful moment they are they are rejecting because of their hardness of their hearts lives of mary by like mary by and massa he went away from them the scribes and the pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak about many things lying laying in wait for him to catch him something he might say now they were waiting they were provoking him so that he can they can find a point to kill him of course very death of jesus is going to be their salvation very death of jesus but then they missed the point they simply missed the point moment you repent that very curse of that blood can be the blessing and the power of that blood so it's all up to you to be a cursed man or blessed cursed person or blessed person that bless, blood will purify you cleanse you empower you moment you moment you repent and accept jesus as your savior amen may god bless you